Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power square root of 7 and 3 to the power 13 eighths. And we're going to figure out which number is greater. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with some observations here. I'm going to, you know, have to compare a power of 2 to a power of 3, but I also have a radical in the exponent. So I kind of have to take care of that. So my goal is to compare square root of 7 to a rational number that I can use in the exponent and then I'm going to use the transitive property and so on and so forth. So here's how I start. Notice that 3 root 7 is equal to square root of 63 and that is less than 8 because the square root of 64 is equal to 8. This gives us that 3 root 7 is less than 8. And now at this point, I'm going to multiply, multiply both sides by root 7. Now, some of you might be like questioning, why, why am I doing this, right? So uh, by doing this, I'm going to be able to compare root 7 to a rational number. But can't I just divide both sides by 8? But okay, you can do that. So this is going to give you root 7 is less than 8 thirds. But you're going to notice that that's not what's going to help you. I do need something like square root of 7 is greater than a rational number. Why do I need that? Because uh, by working backwards, you can, you can tell. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides by root 7, and that's going to give us 21 is less than 8 root 7. And that's basically going to put the root 7 on the right-hand side. And from here, you can safely say that root 7 is greater than 21 eighths. Great. So um, we can also have an alternative approach, like maybe you didn't like this, and we can also do another way to approach this directly. We can directly find this. So I can go ahead and start off with 448 is greater than 441. You're going to see what, where the 448 comes from. And then I'm going to square root both sides, but the square root of 441 is actually 21. And then now 448 can be written as 64 times 7, and that's going to give me 8 root 7 is greater than 21, and root 7 is greater than 21 eighths. So it gets us the same thing in, in a different way, but the idea is, again, comparing root 7 to a smaller rational number. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and take a look at some numerical values here. We already said that square root of 7 is going to be greater than 21 eighths, and it actually is. They're pretty close. I mean, not bad, right? Uh, but root 7 is greater. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and uh, put it together. Now, the biggest question here is, I think the million dollar question is, how do we connect? Did I put too many ends? Okay. How do we connect? That, was, that became a strong connection. This to a power of three, right? So I do have something for two. Well, I don't even have something for two, but this is basically something that I can use for two. So since I have two to the power root seven, and I do know that root seven is greater than 21 eighths, this basically implies that two to the power root seven is greater than two to the power 21 eighths. So now my goal is to connect this to a power of three because I want to compare 2 to the power root 7 and 3 to the power 13 eighths. At this point, you probably have an idea how I'm going to set it up, but let's go ahead and proceed. So, in order to be able to compare these two things, uh, the power of 2 and a power of 3, I do need some sort of connection by using this rational number. Now, it's hard to compare the rational powers with irrational powers. That's why I did this approximation. So now uh, we're going to do something um, fractional with 3. And in order to be able to do that, I'm going to use higher powers of 2 and 3. So notice that I have 2 to the power 21 here. So what uh, can I compare it to? So if you evaluate 2 to the power 21, that is going to become 2,097,152. It's not hard to evaluate. You probably already know 2 to the 10th is 1024. Multiply 1024 times 1024 times 2 or 1024 times 2048 and you're going to get this answer. Okay, great. You can do this. And uh, the closest power of 3 that I can use 
And obviously I do want that to be a smaller number in this case because of the transitive property that I'm going to be using. So I will go with 3 to the power 13, which happens to be 1,594,323. Great. So that's 3 to the power 13 and that is 2 to the power 21. Yay. Super duper. Now I have that 2 to the power 21 is greater than 3 to the power 13. Let's go ahead and skip this part. We already talked about it. Now we have 2 to the power 21 is greater than 3 to the power 13. Awesome. I'm pretty sure uh, some folks will find uh, much nicer methods to get to this point to compare these two numbers. Okay, great. Now, after getting this comparison, I can obviously divide the exponents by 8 because my goal is to get to 2 to the power 21 eighths right here. That's why I do need to divide exponents by 8, which means that uh, I'm basically raising both sides to the power 1 eighth. And that can be done. Both sides are positive. It's all good. And I can basically take the eighth root of both sides. It's allowed, right? So this gives me 2 to the power 21 eighths is greater than 3 to the power 13 eighths. Awesome. Now, how does this help us, right? Okay. Now, we were able to compare a power of 2 to the power of 3. Now, we do know something else, right? So, we're going to put it together. Well, we already know that 2 to the power root 7 is greater than 2 to the power 21 eighths. Let's go ahead and bring that here. 2 to the power root 7. We know that 2 to the power 20, 2 to the power square root of 7 is greater than 2 to the power 21 eighths and 2 to the power 21 eighths is greater than 3 to the power 13 eighths and this basically implies by using the transitive property this shows that 2 to the power root 7 is greater than 3 to the power 13 eighths so this basically gives us the answer we were looking for the greater number and the answer is going to be 2 to the power root 7 in this case is greater great so let's go ahead and look, look at some other numerical values. And again, uh, I'm sure that you guys will find some ingenious methods to solve this problem, maybe by using the binomial theorem or by some other approach. But I'm pretty sure that uh, some of you guys will come up with something amazing, as you always do. And I read that in the comments, and I'm always excited about your approaches. Great. So let's go ahead and take a look at more numerical values. Okay. So here's what we have. We have 2 to the power root 7, which is about 6.258 something. And we have 3 to the power 13. Well, they're not that close. I know they're not super close. But I think um, I thought of this problem by myself, by the way. And I think it's a good problem, in my opinion. You can always argue otherwise. But the idea is, and also something that I thought about uh, when it comes to 2 to the power root 7, is I noticed that it is pretty close to 25 fourths. So maybe at some point uh, we can also talk about comparing these two numbers and see how they compare. And I think there is probably an easy way. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I, it looks kind of interesting. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this problem. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and hasta la vista.